guys, Beautiful Essentials here. Today's video is inspired by another DIY I made and the pattern here was what made me take up the project I'm about to show you. Now for this DIY, this is how it turned out. And the link for this particular video will be in the description box below. Now for that video, I used a regular box to make the shape. And then I did the same thing for this other DIY that I'm about to show you guys, but using a trifle board. Now I covered the whole thing with a poster board to make it smooth. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now to give me the outer shape that I want, I'm going to be using a 16 by 20 inch frame that I got from Walmart. And this frame comes with an acrylic sheet, which I took out and I spray painted it silver. And then I drew lines on it, which I'm going to be cutting out for the shape that I want on my design. When I was done, I started gluing them on with 0.8 inches apart. After that, I started making holes with an X-Acto knife and a pair of scissors at the top where I'm going to be inserting the other side of the strip. The glue did not hold the strip to the board tight enough. So I'm going to be using thumbtacks to hold it together to the board. And because it's an acrylic sheet, I used a drill gun to make holes first and used a hot glue gun before putting the thumbtack. I had glued the points where all the thumbtacks were from the inside. And I also glued this part here where the strips are. I made this video weeks ago. And because I wasn't sure that the method I was using was going to hold the strips together, I left it for about five weeks and you can see that it's falling apart. So I had to come up with a way to keep the strips in place. So I used zip ties. These are the thin sizes that I got from Walmart. And as you can see, I made three holes this time around to hold the strips in place. And I'm making two holes per zip tie using a drill gun with a wider drill bit that will make it easy for me to put in the zip ties. Now with this method, the strips are all tightly secured. As 
I was making this, the shape reminded me of a decor piece that I had at home, which I love so much. And because this has a lid, I'm going to be making a lid for this one as well. I'll be putting some wooden dowels around the corner in the inside so that it can be used as a storage and as a side table as well. I glue the dowels inside. To make the inside neat, I'm going to be covering it up with this fabric that I got from Walmart. The outer lip of the container is rough as well, so I will be covering that too using the fabric. And then for the lid, I'll be using a cardboard to make it. Now because this is rough, I'm going to be using a poster board and cutting out a thin strip from there to cover it up. I kind of realized much later that the lid that I was making was too wide, so I needed it to be thin, so I made a thinner one. For the curved effect at the top, this is the bowl that I'll be using and I got this bowl from the Dollar Tree. The round lid that I just made will be covered up with this mirror reflective paper. This is the bowl that I said I was going to use and I spray painted it with the Miri Effect spray paint. And I did the spray painting from the inside to give me a mirror reflection on the outside. Now I don't know what went wrong at this point here, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is because it's going to give it an interesting look in the end. Now this outer part here that's rough, I'm going to be covering that up with gems. I'll be gluing the bowl in the middle and I love the contrast that's going on here and like I said the spray painting was done on the inside and the link for the spray paint is going to be in the description box below. The good news is the spray paint is also sold at Walmart. Now the lip of the bowl was covered up with gems as well and then this side here will be covered up with beads. To give me the cone shape at the top, I'll be using this large Christmas ornament that I've had at home for a while and I'll be cutting it to the size that I want and gluing it at the top. I forgot to show you guys that the zip ties were covered up with gems. I really love how this project turned out and I have to say the only part that took time in making this was putting in the zip ties at the bottom. The lid at the top gave the overall look of foreign and Persian vibe.
You can take up your lid in style because it's a storage. You can also glue a mirror to a board to turn it into a side table. You can also use it as a vase and put full flowers inside. It's totally up to you. I hope you enjoyed the way this DIY turned out. And remember to like this video and share it with your friends and families. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.